Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm making this video because if you have not seen, I think you should check out Prophetic Dreams and Visions for my lovely Jesus. Lately, her topic has been Three Days of Darkness, and she's made so many videos, and it's interesting. It, every time I listen to one of her videos, it's like it's not the same, and I, I learn something new. But Amos 8, 9 talks of and it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord God that I will cause the sun to go down at noon and I will darken the earth in the clear day and God just been bringing to my attention like on my channel if you go to like my oldest videos like some of my first videos if I can scroll down where's the down button anyway it talks of hold up Crap, I hate being unprepared. In one of my older videos, like right here, my August the 28th, 2020 rapture dream, I saw darkness coming. It was literally like half of the sky was blue, the other half was dark. And I could see it was like a supernatural, thick, dense darkness. It wasn't natural. And something was saying you might not have time to repent. Because in the dream, I knew I wasn't ready, but I knew as it was approaching I couldn't just wait to the last minute to repent and then when the sky went dark it was like these giant fallen angels in the outline of a cloud or something but it, it was wicked I knew they were giant it was in the sky it was a woman running around saying um where are the children it was just chaotic but from listening to her, she helped me put some of my dreams together because I didn't have like four dreams so far of seeing darkness coming. One of the first end time dreams I got was in 2009, 2010, and I was in a backslidden state at the time. And um, God was, wait, in the dream, it was a beautiful blue day. I was outside of my old house. And the next thing I know, I get this feeling that Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And I know I'm backslidden, so I start praying as hard as I can and I mean, I was praying so hard that it felt like strength, actual physical strength was leaving me because I didn't want to get left behind, but I ended up getting left behind and what was a beautiful blue sky, it turned dark and then I saw the moon. Well, I, I assume it was the moon because the closest I can compare it to was a blood moon, like very close to earth. It could be, it could have been Nubaru or Planet X. I have no idea, but it was so close to earth and something was like, now you will have to go through the tribulation. That's what I heard a voice say in a dream. And when I woke up, I kept hearing warning, 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 and I'm fully awake, but it's like something was saying warning, warning, warning to me. It was kind of physically, but it was almost like telepathically. But God just been bringing to my attention. You know how many dreams you have had of seeing darkness coming? And even the recent dream last year, of the three days of darkness being told to prepare food like different stuff I even saw something even said duct tape I never thought of using duct tape um to seal off the doors and the windows but you know God gives us pieces to the puzzle and as I've been listening to prophetic dreams and visions from my lovely Jesus some of her videos been helping me put together the pieces that God showed me as far as what as far as with the duct tape and the food and even in my dream I saw like a porta potty because there's some people thinking they are just gonna I guess they think their whole house is gonna be lit up or something but then just from listening to what she's saying like a room or something will be lit up because um you don't want too much light in your house to draw what's outside to you but I've just been learning so much. It's been very interesting. I've had so much confirmation. Um, even if you go to the master's voice, um, she got a prayer call from October of 2022. Let me see if I can go to it. Yeah. And it says prepare for war in times prayer call. And in it, and in it, I'm um, trying to get to it. I got to go down a little bit. She talks of uh, like this living darkness coming. I'm trying to scroll down a little bit. But it is something about this darkness that's coming that's a game changer. And she said, there is coming a terrible living darkness to the whole world. A physical darkness that can't be seen through, but has end time beings in it. The coming of fallen angels to mate again with women. The rise of new Nephilim breed from willing women of this generation. 
because that's what I've been seeing in my dreams and that's what prophetic dreams and visions for my lovely Jesus, like some of what she's been seeing in her dreams. Like she was also seeing that, um, what is it? This darkness coming, the Aurora Borealis and the darkness and stuff is an announcement of the day of the Lord. And I do feel like it's a game changer because even in my dreams, like before the darkness came, it was normal. After the darkness came, it was something completely different. Children were missing. It was demonic beings that was just in the sky, just happy because I guess they felt like it was their time to shine. Um, Besides the other dreams, God been giving me of like the giants and the Nephilim and stuff. She was also talking about how God started giving her those dreams of the giants and the Nephilim, which we know like if they're here, they're not in plain sight. But in my dream, they were in plain sight. They were not hiding and it was chaos and it was fear and it was people running. So we know that we're about to enter into that time and that time is soon. I also wanted to tell you about to go watch this video the channel is called the lord is my shepherd and she said it's a dream of a solar eclipse the rapture darkness and alien ship what caught my attention was that she saw a solar eclipse not to mention that we have a solar eclipse on april the 8th which is monday which i'm off of work and i will be home praying with my children even if the rapture don't happen that day or the sky don't go dark i know that it's a game changer it's a reason why CERN want to fire up their particle accelerator that day is a reason why God is giving us signs and, you know, and the sun, the moon and the stars is definitely a game changer. But in this dream, she said she saw the solar eclipse. She saw the Aurora Borealis. After she saw the Aurora Borealis, she saw this giant, massive alien ship. She saw darkness and she saw people that she thought were people on TV, but they were demons acting like people. But that's what I wanted to share with you. I got to end this video because my storage is running.